Yo, you guys, this is Blacklist of the Abyss, and you're watching my review for Magi, the Kingdom of Magic, episode 19. And before I get into this great episode, I just want to mention that there isn't going to be an episode next week because of the Sochi Olympics. Why the Sochi Olympics are preventing Magi from airing, I don't know. I guess it has to do with the network the Olympics are, the Olympics are actually airing on, but I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know how many of my anime are going to be affected by that. So I'll have to check Crunchyroll, but I know for a fact that there isn't going to be a Magi episode next week, so yeah, there's that. Alright, but um, this this episode pretty much continues the war. It starts with Aladdin, right where it left off, really. Aladdin's trying to get the final east to stop. He's talking how he's talking about how uh, the guys at Magna Stop, they aren't right. They're wrong. But Lame is in the wrong as well, because the actions that them and the co-empire are taking are making the guys at Magnostat think that they're right, so they're not going to change their ways. And what Aladdin's saying is correct, you know. But um, Mu interprets this as trying to, as him trying to give orders to Shahrazade, because he said, you know, you should go back to Shahrazade and tell her what I said, and you know, stuff like that. So he's like, he doesn't take too kindly to that. So. They don't stop. <laughs> they decide to keep fighting, and the magicians, including Myers and Sphintus, uh, they show up to help. Though Sphintus literally does nothing the entire time. He just sits there. He might have healed somebody. I don't remember. <laughs> I remember him kneeling down, like being on his knees. But I don't remember him actually. Like I don't remember if he actually healed somebody. But <laughs> why is Sphintus even a character? Seriously. All right. But uh. <laughs> but um. Yeah, the, the, the finalists, once the magicians show up, the magicians start fighting against the finalists. They put up their borgs, and the finalists just start breaking through them. Mu's sister was especially impressive. She, she was taking people out, push, jumping off of those people to go to hire people, and just taking people out. Uh, that, it, was, it was pretty freaking awesome, right? And these magicians, the way they're fighting back was not very magical like it was pretty lame actually they were just shooting random fireballs and like lightning balls at at the, the funnelies i'm like wait what, what what's what's going on what about using actual magic you know i can remember when aladdin fought titus and they were doing all these combinations and all the giving all these orders to the rook and you know all these commands and doing complicated magic things and not just simply like fireball Fireball! Fireball! Like, like the magicians were pretty lame here, I'm not gonna lie. But luckily they actually decided to change what they were doing a little bit. They they used their brains and actually had water. They they create they linked the river to the battlefield and they forced all the finalists into the water, which the finalists aren't that good in water. At least Morgiana isn't. So I I thought that the finalist core wouldn't be that good either, but so like they knew sister was freaking acting like a mermaid, like jumping up and down through the water. They were doing pretty well, actually. So, hey, uh, maybe it's just Morgiana. Uh, I I, for, I completely forgot about this particular scene in the manga just because I marathoned it. Um, but the magicians end up while the finalists are in the water, they end up using lightning to electrocute them all. So all the fodder finalists were taken out, and then all that's left are the finalists that really matter, Mu, his sister, and Zebra, as I'm going to call him, because I don't remember his actual name, so I'm just going to call him Zebra, all right? And then after this, Aladdin gets his powers back as a Magi, which was pretty epic. The Rook just starts coming to him, and all the Rook from in the area, from all the people there, it just goes to him to serve him, so to speak. And everyone was just like, Like, they they were just watching, like, whoa, this is crazy, all right? And um, Mu's, at least the people who saw it at the time, uh, Mu and his sister and Zebra, they start fighting back using their vettles, vessels, Mu his metal vessel, and then his sister and Zebra, their household vessels. And they're pretty much doing Getsu Getenjo over and over and over. That's They were literally just spamming Getsu Getenjo taking out magicians left and right, it was ridiculous. So many magicians got like one shot in here. And then one of them fell to the ground, then Zebra went over to him, picked him up by his head, crushed his skull, saying, Yeah, you thought we were just these beasts and our fangs couldn't reach you? Well think again. And he just crushes the guy's skull. I didn't think he'd do it either. I didn't think he'd do it. 
But he did. I thought he was just going to like throw him to the ground. I was hoping he'd do it, but I thought, nah, he's not going to. This is too shonen for that. He's, he's just going to throw him down to the ground and finish him off with one more Getsu Tenjo. But no, he legit just crushed his skull right then and there. So that was actually pretty cool. Well, I mean, I'm not exactly like... Never mind. Yeah, it, it was cool. All right, it was cool. For shonen anime, it was cool. All right. And um, I think during the scene, there was one like... I, I'm assuming it was Mu. There was like a freaking like dragon up there, like <laughs> like swinging its tails and you know and biting down on all these Borgs and just taking out all these magicians at once. That was pretty epic too. And then Zebra tries to take out Myers, but it doesn't work. Her Borg is too strong. So Mu comes up from behind her and they both double team her. All right, they they take her out. She's her stomach is bleeding. She goes flying down to the ground. All right. And then, like, with Myers done, like, who else is really left? Irene? Like, seriously. <laughs> so the, the three finalists go to the barrier, and they start trying to take it out. It starts cracking and cracking and cracking. And you're thinking, these guys are going to break through. But the magicians, they try to fight back. I think Titus was the first one. Then all these other magicians show up, but they all fail epically. And then we was about to break through again. This time, Alain comes in, he's the one who saves the day with the three Ugos. But we already saw this in episode one, they spoiled it. So, it wasn't as good as it would have been had they decided not to spoil it. But, um, yeah, at this point, the Rook is just going crazy around Alain. And Alain, this time, literally everybody is in awe. They're just staring. The finalists, the magicians, Moga met Shaharazade, um, everyone except for um, the two other metal vessel users who have yet to show up. All right, remember that. They have yet to show up. Same with Alad, uh, Alibaba, too. They have yet to show up. So, oh, Alibaba showed up, but I mean, like, on the battlefield. The two other metal vessel users haven't shown up at all since last episode. They've just been gone. It's like standing behind your hair is All right, so, so I guess they technically were there. We just didn't see their faces, but, you know. All right, so the way this episode ends is, you know, the, the, um, the lame empire not looking too well, so, you know, think about, and with the ending, with Mu activating his metal vessel, I, I mean, I don't think it's too much of a spoiler to say that he's activating his full gin equip. <laughs> um, then again, that's just based off of my memories of the manga, which are kind of hazy around this part, because I marathoned it. I think I marathoned the war in like a day, so, <laughs> um, so maybe he is just doing his partial, like, weapon gin equip, but probably not. I'm, go I'm going for full gin equip here, because <laughs> why? Wow, clearly that's not going to do much against a, a, a Magu, but um, yeah, so this, the lame empire isn't out yet. They've got Mood, they've got the other two metal vessel users, and finally don't have much Magoi. M Morishiana, Mu, Zebra, Mu's sister, all the, the, the finalists in general just don't have much Magoi. Okay, and we actually know why now in the manga, but um, I won't spoil why. You probably wouldn't believe it unless you saw it anyway. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, so Mu, the two other metal vessel users, plus Shaharazade herself, Alibaba. I wouldn't exactly count the lame empire out just yet. Plus the Co Empire hasn't shown up yet. At some point in time, they're gonna show up. We saw Koa not too long ago, like an episode or two ago. We saw him, so he's probably on his way there too. Um, but I kind of just skipped a few parts here. Um, Aladdin comes in with the with the three Ugos, and I'm just saying, you know, he hears from Sherazade that he is in, that Aladdin is in fact a Magu. So Mu's like, wait, so you're not Sherazade, definitely. I've met you non before. Since there are only three Magu, that means you're Judal, which means you're part of the Co Empire, which means I'm going to take you out. And Aladdin's like, no, I'm not one of the three Magi. I'm a fourth one. He's like, you know what, I don't really care what you are, you're, you're a threat to the lame empire, so I'm going to take you out. All right? And they try to take out Ugo, but they can't even put a dent in him. All right? And Aladdin does a little intimidation uh, attack, with intimidation tactics. Halahar in Vigar, alright, for the first time in a while since his fight against Titus, I think, or maybe even the um, the exam, whatever. Uh, but he uses Halahar in Vigar with Ugo. So Ugo just shoots fire across the battlefield all the way to the the, sh the lane ships, all right? And it doesn't hit any of them, but, you know, it, like I said, it's intimidation tactics. He's saying, he's trying to make it clear that he does not want to end this war by killing people, 
all right? Because Mu Mu tells tells him, you know, all right, if if you could you if you can do something like that, you can take all of us out at once. But if you do that, you'll be just like Mogame. So what do you so what are you gonna do? And he says he's gonna end the war without killing anyone, all right? But um, when that fire goes across and the rook is going crazy everywhere, all over the battlefield, it's even reaching the ships. So Alibaba notices the fire and he notices the rook and he's like, you know, Al Aladdin's here. He's here. All right. So they showed a little flashback of him talking with Mu and he's like, you know, you're an outs we'll let you come, but realize your role. You're an outsider. So think about that before if you decide to get involved and think about like the consequences of that of what will happen. All right. Besides your friend probably isn't here because most of the foreign students have left. They aren't siding with with uh Microsoft. they aren't fighting with them. But um, Al uh, Alibaba clearly knows from what's going on that Al Aladdin is in fact there, so he's pr he's probably gonna go over. I mean, pretty much all the pr pretty much guaranteed like, he's gonna go over. All right, um, and yeah, that pretty much goes back to what I was talking about before. Aladdin uses he he has the Ugos just turned back into sand, and he forces all the lame soldiers, including the Fonleys, out back to the shore. And the barriers are put back up, and the war is pretty much reset. So most of the soldiers here are losing their will to fight because they realize, like, dude, no matter what we do, we're just gonna get forced back to the shore anyway. So I mean, why, why go through all this? Probably lose more people if if the magicians get involved, you know. So uh, they're they're not their will to fight is pretty much all but disappeared. But like I said, you can't count them out yet because they still have Mu, they still have the other two metal vessel users, they still have Alibaba, and they still have Scheherazade. Of course, Alibaba isn't going to fight against the land, but still, no. But yeah, that's that's uh, that's it for this episode. And I thought it was... It, it's, it wasn't quite amazing. It was, it was like just below that, though. So I don't, I don't know whether to give it a 9 or a 9.5, but it definitely gets one of those because it was a great episode, right? Great episode of Magi. Best one of the of the season so far, in my opinion. I mean, the only one that can come close is probably one that involved Kyokuen or the one that involved Kyokuen and Hakuryu. That was last year, right? Oh, well, it doesn't really matter. So, um, yeah, I'm I, I, I'm pretty sure this is probably the best episode of the season so far. Pretty sure. All right, but yeah, that's that's really. That's really it for now, you guys. This episode is it was great. Gets a nine or a nine point five, whatever in between, whatever you really feel, whatever you want to think it is. All right, something something with a nine in it. All right, but yeah, that's it, you guys. <laughs> Rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. You know, right,